Hey guys, today this video is going to show you how to make this number sign. For this project, I have three different designs. This is a bigger size and a smaller size. For the smaller size, you just double loop the band, then you will become smaller. And today, I'm going to show you how to make this one. The reason why I make number sign, because I already have all the letters and numbers. You can connect them all together, so you will become a charm. I think it would be a good idea to make one for our moms for Mother's Day. This project, we're going to set our room has a little V here and keep your red arrows point away from you. Today I'm going to use neon orange, two bands. If you want to make this smaller size, instead of using two bands for this one, you use single band and double loop it. And using, and using the same design that I used today. So we're going to go this way using two bands for six times. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to repeat this step and do it on your right. Two bands. Start from first to second on your right, going this way for six times. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm going to take two bands and start from third on the bottom. One, two, three. Going from third on your left to third on the center. Next, I'm going to go from third on the center to third on your right. You can skip one and press right here. From your left, going down to the center. Skip one from here. And from the center to your right. Left to center, center to right. Now take one single band, twist one, two. So you will see three rings here. Press right here, let's cap band. Take another single band, twist one, two. So you will see three rings here. Press right here. Let's keep it. Now we're going to add the eight arms on both sides, two on each side. For the eight arm, I'm going to take one single band, twist, one, two. So you will see three rings here. Take two band, bring this piece in here. And take two more band. We need this piece in here, put both ends on your hook. And we're going to press this piece right here. Third from the top here, one, two, three. Now we're going to repeat this step and make another one on here. Take one single band, twist, one, two. So you will see three rings here. Take two bands, bring it in here. Another two band, bring it in here, and press right here. You skip one on this one. Now you can repeat this step, make two more, and press on your right. For this add on part, you can also use loom to make it. So, next two, I'm going to show you how to make it on a loom. But if you prefer to make by hand, then you can just repeat this step and make another piece press right here. But for those of you who has hard time doing by hand, you can use your loom to do this part. Press anywhere on your loom between two pegs, two bands. Take one single band, twist, one, 
two. So you will see three rings here. Place right here. Let's keep them. Now we need two pieces. So we're going to repeat this step and make another one here. Two bands. Two. Take one single band, twist, one, two. So you will see three rings here. Place right here. Let's keep band. Now we're going to rotate our room and start looping. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And the same thing. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. Now we're going to take it up. And press this piece right here. The from here, one, two, three. Now take out the other piece. Place right here. Third from the top here, one, two, three. So now we have one, two, three, four. And this is what it should look like. Now we're gonna start looping the band. Reach in, inside the cap band. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. Next, we're gonna loop these two bands going from here to the center. Be careful, this is a lot of band here, so make sure you grab the right band. Look for these two. You can pause your videos and take your time to look for these two bands. Because it's very important if you grab the wrong band, after you pull it out, you will fall in apart. And when you find it, you grab it. You should see these two bands are moving. That means you grab the right band. Hook it to the center. Now we're going to look for these two bands. So grab the bottom two and hook it to your right. Now we're going to come back here and continue on here on your left. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. For the next two, the same. Look for these two bands. Pass your videos, take your time to do it. So you don't have to get frustrated. Grab the first two, look for these two bands. When you pull it, you can tell you grab the right band or not. You should see a teardrop. Right here, if you didn't see this, top and bottom, that means you grab the wrong band. You need to go back and find the right one. Grab the bottom two, hook it to your right. Now come back here, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. Now come back here, finish up on your right. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. 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 The same, there are a lot of bands here. Make sure you grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. Now when you're done, put your hook through here. Grab it through. Put both ends on your hook, take one end to the others, pull it so you tie a knot here. The same. Put your hook through here, take one single band, grab it through. Put both ends on your hook, take one end to the others, pull it so you will tie a knot here. Time to take it off. For here, since it has a lot of band, you can use your hook to release the band. And on the center too. Oh, you can use your hand to grab it off. 
And this is our number side. You can pull it so you look nice and neat. Now we're going to hide these two secure bands. You can move this knot high in the back a little bit so you won't see on the top. Put your hook through here, somewhere around here. Depending on the bands that you use, different bands may have different press that you that's good press for you to hide. So you just find a good press to hide. Anywhere is fine. Put your hook through here and grab this secure band halfway through. So you hide it in here, that way you won't get loose. And here's your number sign. If you like this video, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. See you next time.